Hi, it's DeWire, keeping it free.blogspot.com. You know, I'm in favor of amnesty. From a purely economic standpoint, I firmly believe that immigrants who come to this country looking for economic opportunities add to the GDP and that economic success builds on itself for society at large, right? That restaurant down the street, if it starts to thrive because it has, um, you know, a workforce that is looking for opportunity and it's able to uh, employ people who have come here illegally, what's going to happen is that that's more money in the community. That's more money for the owners of that restaurant, the other workers of that restaurant. That money ends up getting spent. Pretty soon that part of town becomes a restaurant row. More people get employed. There are more opportunities. I'm surprised we don't see that. Right? Understand when people come from other countries and they're here picking lettuce, you actually get the benefit of that lettuce when you order that burger at that fast food restaurant. Your experience is actually enriched because now that lettuce is part of your meal and the burger is still reasonably priced. With those cost savings that you realize, you're then able to spend more money on your family. You're then able to do more. Even the argument that immigrants come here and then they're sending money home seems to ignore the fact that the ability to send money home is going to drive more immigrants here, right? You're going to have more of a workforce who are going to be providing a service like, let's say, picking lettuce, that's going to give you more options as a consumer. Now, given that employers here actually employ people, who are undocumented workers. In other words, there's a demand for their services. Given that consumers buy goods and services provided by undocumented workers, such as the lettuce in your fast food burger, I'm absolutely dumbfounded by the fact that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s family, at least some members of it, are against the idea of amnesty. Doesn't amnesty just extend to people who have come here who have shown that they have made a positive impact on American society? Right? Amnesty is not being extended to everyone, is it? Right? Amnesty is just being extended to those who have been in the country who are showing that they're making a positive impact. They've been here for some time. They're not on public assistance. Right? Keep in mind, too, many of our welfare state programs really depend, don't they, on people coming here, paying into the system, paying things like sales taxes, right? Illegals can't avoid that. You know, paying sales taxes and stuff like that for goods and services that they even aren't able to consume, right? You're paying money to the state, so the state can provide benefits to legal residents and to citizens, right? And so, Maybe what we should be talking about, if the issue is tax avoidance, is changing our tax code, making it simpler, perhaps making it a consumption tax, so that everyone who's here in the country consuming goods and services, whatever their documented status, actually shares their burden of the tax burden. Right? Maybe that's what we should be talking about instead of this nonsensical argument. And that's what I believe it is. That these illegals are coming here and are taking black jobs. Right? As if the only jobs that blacks have in the American economy 
are manual labor type jobs that undocumented workers can come in and take. Let me just point out that not only is that true, but the idea that additional workers doing work, in other words, keep in mind, every worker is adding to the GDP, right? Because they're creating things. If you're in the construction business, you're building a building. You're creating that building. If you're in the fast food restaurant business, you're helping provide, right, food to customers. You understand that if you're working and you're adding to the pie, you're not depleting the pie. The economy is not zero sum. It's not like you're here working and that necessarily means someone else is going without. Right? So, if reports are true and if Martin Luther King Jr. is being enlisted to actually fight Obama's amnesty program, I hope he reconsiders. Right? Because to me, this is just scapegoating of immigrants. Right? For me, it's the scapegoating of immigrants in a way that ignores economic reality. Right? Of course, immigrants are adding value to American society. That's why employers hire them. That's why you consume the goods and services that they provide, right? If there's demand for their services and if they're willing to work, and that's implicit in the argument that they're taking black jobs. In other words, they're on the hunt for jobs. They're getting employed. They're working in businesses. The fact that they're willing to work should be embraced. The idea that society is zero sum, so for every job an immigrant gets, an American is disemployed, is simply erroneous. Understand, many of these undocumented workers, just because they are undocumented, can't accept jobs that require high skill levels. Maybe the challenge to the American voter, excuse me, the American worker, is to make sure they have skills that get them out of the unskilled labor portion of the economy. In any event, I'm very disappointed by this movement in the King family to scapegoat immigrants who are here adding to GDP. I don't get it. Perhaps you, the viewer of this video, the listener of this podcast, can educate me by leaving comments in the comment section to this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.